When you come home today, you'll get our favorite food, guava, Grandma tells me. Pho noodle soup? Heaviness makes me skip a step. Yes, the bomb raids have stopped me from cooking, but it's been quiet, so let's celebrate. Before I can answer, a siren shatters our moments of peace. A female voice blares from a loudspeaker tethered to a tree. Attention citizens, attention citizens. American bombers are approaching Hanoi, 100 kilometers away. Oi, chai, da, da. Grandma cries for heaven and earth. She runs, pulling me along. Streams of people pour out of their homes like ants from broken nests. Far away from the top of the Hanoi Opera House, sirens wail. Over there, Grandma rushes toward a bomb shelter dug into the roadside. She pulls up the heavy concrete lid. No room, a voice shouts out from down below. Inside the round pit just big enough for one person, a man half kneels, half stands. Muddy water rises to his chest. Grandma hurries to close the lid. She pulls me toward another shelter. Attention citizens, attention citizens. American bombers are approaching Hanoi, 60 kilometers away. Armed forces get ready to fight back. The female voice becomes more urgent. The sirens are deafening. Shelter after shelter is full. People dart in front of us like birds with broken wings, abandoning bicycles, carts, shoulder bags. A small girl stands alone, screaming for her parents. Attention citizens, attention citizens. American bombers are approaching Hanoi, 30 kilometers away. Clumsy with fear, I trip and fall. Grandma pulls me up. She throws my school bag to the roadside, bending down for me to jump onto her back. She runs, her hands wrapping around my legs. Thundering noise approaches. Explosions ring from afar. I hold onto Grandma's shoulders with sweaty hands, burying my face in her body. Attention citizens, attention citizens. More American bombers are approaching Hanoi, 100 kilometers away. Run to the school. They won't bomb the school, Grandma shouts to a group of women lugging young children in their arms and on their backs. At 52 years of age, Grandma is strong. She dashes past the women, catching up with those ahead of us. Bounced up and down, I press my face against her long black hair that smells like my mother's. As long as I can inhale her scent, I will be safe. Hung, run with me. Grandma has squatted down in front of my school, panting. She pulls me into the schoolyard. Next to a classroom, she flings herself down a vacant shelter. As I slide down next to her, water rises to my waist, gripping me with icy hands. It's so cold. The beginning of winter. Grandma reaches up, closing the lid. She hugs me, the drum of her heart throbbing through my blood. I thank Buddha for the gift of this shelter, large enough to fit us both. I fear for my parents on the battlefields. When will they come back? Have they seen Uncle Dad, Uncle Tuan, and Uncle Sang? Explosions draw closer. The ground swings as if it were a hammock. I press my palms against my ears. Water shoots up, drenching my face and hair, blurring my eyesight. Dust and stones rain through a small crack onto my head. Sounds of anti-aircraft fire. Hanoi is fighting back. More explosions, sirens, cries, an intense burning stench. Grandma brings her hands together in front of her chest. Namu azirafa, namu botat. Torrents of prayers to Buddha pour from her lips. I close my eyes, imitating her. The bombs continue to roar. A minute of silence follows. A sharp screeching noise. I cringe. A powerful explosion hurls Grandma and me against the shelter's lid. Pain darkens my eyes. I land feet first on Grandma's stomach. Her eyes are closed, her hands a budding lotus flower in front of her chest. She prays as the thundering noise disappears and people's cries rise into the air. Grandma, I'm scared. Her lips are blue, trembling from the cold. I know, Guava. I'm scared too. Grandma, if they bomb the school, will, will this shelter collapse? She struggles against the confined space, pulling me into her arms. I don't know, darling. If it does, will we die, Grandma? She hugs me tight. Guava, if they bomb this school, our shelter might collapse on us, but we'll only die if Buddha lets us die. We didn't perish that day in November 1972.